Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call the meeting to order. We call the roll, please. Trustee Fenton? Here. Trustee Dadge? Here. Trustee Guerra? Here. Trustee Ruzick? Here. Trustee Calandrello? Here. Trustee Carroll? Here. President McLaughlin? Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. We, uh, we have a pretty uh, straightforward agenda tonight, obviously a uh, packed house. And uh, so what we'll do is we're going to get started with the swearing in of the uh, elected officials. And then we're going to move into pretty much a straightforward uh, business meeting for the Village of Wall Park. So we'll, we'll get rolling here uh, shortly. John, if you would, we'll swear in the uh, library trustees first. All right, there are three library trustees, so. <laughs> John, I think you want to do these individually. You want to do these individually? Okay. Yeah. I think we're doing quite Please raise your right hand for if you have to be. I am Nancy Lentheely. We'll now proceed to the swearing in of the uh, Village of Orland Park trustees. And we have a, a special guest 
who's been a friend to uh, many of us here in Orland Park for many years, longtime Orland resident, and he happens to be a sitting judge in a municipal court there. So we're very pleased to have an Orland resident, uh, Judge Tom O'Hara, swear in uh, Kathy Fenton Court.
want to do a Section 5K run, you want to just fly over to some uh, you know, or, uh, military aircraft, you want to tie this together so veterans are meeting high schoolers. It's kind of important to make sure that the next generation gets what the meaning of memorial day is. So we're excited about that. Then another one is Centennial Park, Centennial West, and some of you've heard this by different names. When we, the village, bought that property, we looked at it and it has more green seed Swear in uh, Clerk John Mahalik or re-elected. Nancy.
state of Illinois, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of village clerk to the best of my ability. I think we're at the point of the meeting where we uh, get to upgrade Keith's chair and give him a better view. So, well, Captain uh, Tim Cole, would you come up and administer the oath of office, please?
approval of the first 2007 regular meeting minutes. Mr. Chairman. I think this is my Trustee Calandrello. I move to approve the minutes of the Board of Trustee meeting of May 1st, 2017. Second. Second. Are there any changes to the minutes? Mm -hmm. Call the roll. Trustee Calandrello. Aye. Trustee Guerra. Aye. Trustee Fenton. Aye. Trustee Dodge. Aye. Trustee Ruzik. Aye. Trustee Carroll? Aye. Mayor Peacock? Aye. Jim took mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Consent agenda? Mr. Mayor? The consent agenda, item A, bi weekly pro payroll approval for May 5th, 2017. Item B, Accounts payable approval from May 2nd, 2017. Item C, 2017 and 18 annual renewal for the Code Red Emergency Notification System to contact residents and businesses. Item D, approval of quench design pricing for graphic design services for three <coughs> annual publications. Item E, Neopost mailing equipment five year lease for the Finance Department and Police Department. F, Centennial Park Aquatic Center and Public Works video security camera and server purchases. Item G, budget adjustments for second quarter 2017, which include rollovers and transfers. Item H, second amendment to management agreement with Power Wellness to reflect sales tax exemption status when making purchases on behalf of, village, of the Village of Orland Park. Item I, resolution on authorized signers for Village Trust and Custodial Accounts at Fifth Third Bank. Item J, ordinance to amend Village Code Title I, ch Chapter 10, execution of financial documents to enable assistant financial finance director to execute financial documents for approval of trade authorizations and transfer of funds. Item K, payments to ARIES regarding water main break emergency repairs. Item L, approval of proposal from D. Kersey Construction Company regarding Village Hall East and West door replacement. Item M, ordinance regarding the disposal of kitchen related items previously located at the Orland Park Health and Fitness Ca Center Cafe through online auction. Item N, approval of proposal from Spaceco Inc. for pond and drainage system survey pilot project for pond located at the northeast corner of Regent Drive and 151st Street. Item O, agreement execution authorization for flood resiliency pilot project with V3 companies. Item P, bid award to Crowley Shepherd Asphalt Inc. for roadway parking lot multi-use path asphalt pavement maintenance for year 2017. Item Q, approval of proposals from CED EFVNGE electrical supply for the purchase of materials needed for fiber conduit and electrical conduit installations. Item R, bid award to Davis Concrete Construction for sidewalk removal and replacement through the Sub Suburban Public Works Directors Association joint bid process. Approval of item S, last but not least, approval of landscape plan for Parkside Square residential development at 15160 West Avenue. Mr. Mayor. <laughs> No. Trustee Ruzik. I would move to approve items A through S of the consent agenda. Second. <clears throat> Second. Are there any corrections? Or excuse me, are there any uh, items that need to be removed? Call the roll. Trustee Ruzik. Aye. Trustee Carroll. Aye. Trustee Fenton. Aye. Trustee Dodge. Aye. Trustee Guerra. Aye. Trustee Calandrello. Aye. Mayor Peacock. Mm -hmm. Aye. Centennial Park Aquatic Center slide repairs. Mr. Chairman. Trustee Gear. I move to remove the Centennial Park Aquatic Center slide repairs item from the table. Second. Call the roll. Trustee Guerra. Aye. Trustee Fenton. Aye. Trustee Dodge. Aye. Trustee Ruzik. Aye. Trustee Calandrello. Aye. Trustee Carroll. Aye. Pres uh, Mayor Peacock. Aye. Are we voting on that now? No, we do another the, item. The next one. I will entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the slide sanding, monitoring, and repair for the 2017 pool season to IPS Incorporated of Sandwich, Illinois, for an amount not to exceed $7,525. Second. If I may, Mr. Mayor. Uh, by way of explanation, this was an item that last month was tabled. 
because there was another vendor coming in from out of state. He wanted to have an opportunity to, to bid the project. He came in, we tabled the original, and his price was not even considerable. It was more than double what the original bid was. So that's why we removed it from the table and brought it back for bid, or for approval. Any other comments? Call the roll. Trustee Guerra? Aye. Trustee Calandrello? Aye. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Dodge? Aye. Trustee Ruzik? Aye. Trustee Carroll? Aye. Mayor Peacock? Aye. That's it. Oh, we, two people signed in. Uh, yeah, they, they signed in the car. I didn't get the pronunciations. Would Marge McShone please come address the board? Did I get that right? McShane. I apologize. <clears throat> she took it down. What's, what's can you can you wait one second, please? It's got to be on the record. <laughs> Oh, it's for, okay. Um, I, I just have a two-part statement, and the first part is uh, I have been receiving some anonymous robocalls, and I don't know who to address that to because, as I said, it is anonymous, but I would like whoever is the caller or who's ever sending those around to identify themselves on the robocall so I, I can address it to that person. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but my second part is um, the robocalls seem to uh, be accusatory, to accuse the trustees of doing things uh, against the best interests of the people of the village of Orland Park. And, and I just want to say, it did mention Davidson on there. Uh, when I moved to Orland Park 35 years ago, uh, that corner had really literally a shack on it that was a metro station and Davidson Concrete. And nothing against Davidson Concrete, but it really wasn't the best thing to be looking at. So right now we've got a beautiful metro station. We've got some upscale apartment buildings. It's, it's very lovely there. Um, also, we've got a great pool that we didn't have 35 years ago when I moved in. We've got great walking trails. We've got the open lands. Uh, just a lot of great things that make Orland Park a really wonderful place to live. So I wanted to take this opportunity just to say thank you to the trustees past and present. Uh, I know how difficult a job this is, and I just want to tell you how much I appreciate your hard work. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Charles McShane. Uh, Charles McShane. Uh, there was actually my mother. She stole a bit of my thunder here. <laughs> uh, I was also calling about the robocalls that have been placed. I'd like to put a little more of a serious note on them because they are breaking uh, the laws that regulate how robocalls are supposed to be done. Robocalls require whoever is making them to identify themselves at the start of the call, and they are also restricted from calling things like pagers, cell phones, and emergency numbers. I've received them on my cell phone. My wife has received them on her cell phone as well. Uh, so I would appreciate if there could be something done about looking into them, because not only they are legal, but they are accusatory. Thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. Gira. usually starts here. My only comment is congratulations to all the officials, the three library trustees that were sworn in tonight, the trustees, the mayor, the village clerk. Look forward to working with all of you. Mr. Mayor, um, I just want to welcome you to, to the board and look forward to working with you in the future. And by the way, young Jimmy Dodge, I've been in front of Judge O'Hara multiple times. He's not that scary. 
Luckily, not as a defendant. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Judge, for coming out tonight. Uh, young Mr. McShane, your mother stole your thunder. You stole mine. I, I just wanted to report briefly. I received a lot of phone calls over the weekend from people about those the robocalls for tonight's meeting. Uh, we don't know who did it because, as young Mr. McShane pointed out, the person didn't identify themselves. I just promised the constituents that reached out to me that I'd look into it. And I did, and the, the, the proper agency to file a complaint if you received a call on your cell phone, or, or again, uh, if you are complaining about the fact that the caller did not identify themselves or the phone number from which they were calling, the proper complaint uh, venue would be the Federal Communications Commission. So I did my uh, research as I promised, so you would just go to their website if you had any complaints. But other than that, congratulations to all of you sworn in tonight, the Library Board, Village Board, and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Thank you for looking into that. Trustee Dodge? Uh, that, well, you're, you're going to have to forgive me. I've been so used to calling him Keith for so long, and we're going to have to shift into Mayor Peacock soon. So, it, uh, uh, Thanks, Mayor Peacock. It, um, just wanted to again say thank you to the uh, village of uh, Orland Park, the residents, for a vote of confidence. Um, congratulations to all the officials tonight that were sworn in. The township also had their swearing in. And, you know, there's a hell of a lot of work to do, so tonight starts. <laughs> Trustee Fenton. Uh, first of all, I'd like to just take the opportunity to uh, major faux pas on my part. I apologize to my son and daughter for not asking them to come up with me, but I'm sure the judge will um, take a nice little picture of us when we're done. And Frank, it's Frank Florentine, our IT person, who I am one of his best little students when it comes to the computer. And my computer this evening was totally misbehaving. Um, I'd also I'd like to invite everyone on May 25th to, the, to Crescent Park. We are now having our farmer's market, which is now called Market in the Park, thanks to Trustee Dodge and his little idea of naming it that. Um, it's a little bit different take on what we've done in the past for the farmer's market. It's going to have, we're gonna have entertainment out there. We have some uh, major restaurants that are all slated to come in the evening. The market will go from four o'clock to eight o'clock and it's at Crescent Park. Encourage everyone to come, it's gonna be fabulous. Currently we have approximately 30 vendors that are already signed up for um, the event. And like I said, it's a little bit different take on what we've had in the past, but we're looking for a lot of positive feedback from the residents, from the vendors, and the more people that come out, the more vendors that we get. So um, hope to see everybody out there on May 25th from four to eight. I'd like to also thank, uh, congratulate the library board uh, members that were sworn in this evening, my fellow board members, and welcome uh, Mayor Peacow to the village board. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Karen Bell. Uh, I just want to congratulate everyone again for getting sworn tonight, and also the, you know, our brother governing boards, the fire, uh, fire board, the library board, the township, and you know, we all need to work together to make Orland Park and some on the township a better place. And I have to make an addendum to my thank you speech at the beginning. I want to thank my wife, Sarah, because uh, uh, as we all know, I, uh, this job is thankless and it's a lot of hours away from Mia and my family. So um, I know it's very stressful for them, but they put up with it and, and she's my co-trustee. So a lot of the ideas come from her too. So, um, but I want to thank that. I also want to thank my family. I didn't do that. My dad and my parents who made the decision in 1981 to move here. And uh, I think it worked out for us. So uh, my brother, my sister, and friends and family. So I'm sure I forgot someone and someone will yell at me tomorrow. But I just want to thank uh, them from the bottom of my heart. And look forward to working with everyone up here today. Thanks. Thank you very much, Trustee Ruzik. Um, yes, I just want to congratulate all the trustees that were sworn in tonight and our new mayor. Um, and I also want to congratulate you on getting, I think, three seven zero votes tonight. So <laughs> let's keep up the good work. <laughs> Thank you very much. And now I'm going to make uh, my comments. So I'm going to stand up for this. Like, uh, I, I don't have it memorized either, um, just like uh, 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 John here. Um, but I want to first congratulate all the officials um, who were sworn in tonight and all the officials who are sitting up here tonight. Um, your service is commendable. It's a lot of hard work. Um, I stand here humbled by the trust the voters have placed in me to lead um, our community for the next four years. Uh, it's an awesome responsibility. Uh, I, I'm, I'm up to the task and I will not let you down. To, parap to paraphrase uh, Teddy Roosevelt, much has been given to me and much will rightly be expected of me. I'd like to thank several people that have been instrumental in my life's journey that has led up to this evening. 
Uh, first off, the residents and voters of Orland Park who voted me into office, thank you very much. Uh, to the staff, I really want to thank you over the last you know, four weeks, five weeks, how, how hard you've worked to get me up to speed as much as possible and how professional you've been. I really, want, I really appreciate that. Also to my, to my friends that are here, uh, to my family, um, and uh, to my children, only one of whom is here, Amanda. <laughs> and, uh, and special thanks to my wife, Betty, because if, without her, none of this would be possible. Um, I've also invited a special guest here tonight. He's been my best friend for almost 40 years, Captain Tim Cole, he grew, who grew up with me in Orland Park. He flew in from Washington, D.C. just to swear me in tonight. So thank you very much. I want to tell you a little bit about that friendship, which I think embodies um, what I'm all about and, and also how people with differences can come together. Um, we first met in 1976 on the playground be behind Orland Junior High and challenged each other to a fight. <laughs> um, two years later, we were in the same class at, uh, at Orland Junior High, and we've been best friends ever since. But I can tell you, we couldn't be more different. He went into the Navy. I went into the Air Force. I dragged him onto the basketball team, very bad idea. He dragged me onto the wrestling team, even worse idea. He went to Marist, which at that point was all boys, um, and I went to Sandberg. He loves heavy metal, and I'm into country and rock. He's Catholic, I'm Methodist. Yet we have common values and a bond that has spanned four decades. It is proof that first interactions don't have to define your relationship. This is, I, I, I say this because it's very similar to the current situation. It was a tough campaign between two people who love Orland Park. But now it's time to find the common values for the benefit of Orland Park. We all want Orland Park to remain a safe and vibrant community. We want our neighbors and our businesses to be prosperous. We want to keep the tax burden down, and we want to provide the services that we want and need. While well, we may disagree from time to time on how to achieve these goals, I have to believe that we share them. As Thomas Jefferson said in his inauguration in 1801, every difference of opinion is not a difference of principle. My time in the Air Force taught me a lot about leadership and the core values I learned 25 years ago still drive me today, and they will guide me as your village president. Integrity first. Without integrity, you can't accomplish anything, and you certainly can't lead. Service before self. In my Air Force days, that meant putting your life on the line for God, for country, and for your family and friends. Today, it means putting the residents of Orland Park first. Excellence in all we do. Excellence is not an accident. It's the result of high intention, maximum effort, good direction, and the ability to see obstacles ahead and view them as opportunities. I am reaching out to our village board members in the spirit of cooperation and mutual respect. I am committed to working together to solve our problems and seek creative solutions. I ask you to do the same as we work to achieve our common goals for the village of Orland Park. I know what Orland Park means to us. I grew up here. I encourage all of you who are here tonight to stay involved with the village, whether it's through your youth programs, through your churches, through, your, through the local charities, but also by serving on village commissions and by volunteering for our special events, which we always need a lot of volunteers to help. It is your involvement that will continue to make Orland Park great and critical to holding all of us that sit up here accountable. Thank you again for joining us tonight. I look forward to working together and leading Orland Park into the next decade. Thank you. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. Second. Call the roll. Trustee Dodge? Aye. Trustee Carroll? Aye. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Guerra? Aye. Trustee Ruzik? Aye. Trustee Calandrello? Aye. Uh, Mayor Peacock? Aye. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, you could have...
you know, it's a nice attempt. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why I tend to hang out with Air Force guys. Yeah. Ouch. No, no, no. 